Hello, welcome back to JMB. Here it is, the 11th of May, 2016, and we had one absolute downpour of rain last night, and here it is, about 9:30 in the morning. As you can see, my garden here is flooded out, which is one of the reasons I do hills, row hills like this instead of planting straight on the ground, you know, flat on the ground. So I gotta take a mattock and hoe and dig me out a runoff trench. So that, that row there at the brick, that's row there it's gonna be in my potatoes. I got them cut up letting them dry out now. But yeah there you have it. It's an update. And then looks like there where that blue tarp's at. The previous owner, he had the whole area plasticed in, and that's where I walked to water the horses and you know such of that. So I had to pull everything back and still have this big old gob here to pull up and move out of the way. But anyway, uh, like I said, I have to uh, get me a runoff ditch dug in here. Alright, as you can see there, it took about an hour or so to drain out. I have got my horse out. She's out here knocking down some weeds for me. She's in heat again. And uh, I let her out, you know, about 45 minutes a day to get a little graze on. That way I, because I still feed them grain and hay. While the other two boys are out in pasture, I'll let her come out. She looks forward, to, she sees this halter and perks her little ears up and starts nickering. And just one of the reasons I keep horses is because America was built on them. Went for the horse, I mean, you know, we wouldn't be where we're at today. And I just like them, you know. A lot of people say, well, that horse ain't no good for nothing. Yeah. I guess to each his own. But I, I'm assuming 
my honest opinion is one of the main reasons I keep a horse around. Well, I got three actually, but it's because uh, this is what America was was built on. Like I said, you can see her now. She's 1140 some pounds. I fight a far cry from what she was when her little coat was only five months old. I mean, he was keeping it knocked off of her. And he sucked until 15 and a half months, and the mommy broke him. I had no human involvement in it. So I'm a firm believer every time humans get involved, they tend to screw things up. And, you know, that was her first coat. And that's about it. Where are you going, girl? Yeah. And I got me a score. The uh, fellow I buy hay from, he had this 250 gallon water tank. And uh, he uh, he said if I wanted, I can have it. And he gave me a blue 55 gallon barrel as well. And I got it over there. I just got bleach in it. I'm just putting bleach in it and. Getting all the gunk out of because he just had it set in rainwater in it. And it wasn't tightened down or nothing. There you have it. I want you to look. How old is he? 14 months old. 14 months old? Mama still letting him drink. You're a good boy. You're a good boy, ain't you? Oh, you're doing chance. You're a good boy. You're my baby. Try to get an angle so I can show how tall he is. Get up right with him, honey. There you go. Mommy's comparison there.